Hello and welcome back to Chris Gorse Gaming Plays Black Mesa. Um, as you can see we've started where we left off last time with the facility in a bit of a state. Um, right, I'm just going to get out of here and then we'll introduce today's topic. Uh, other door please, thank you. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't think CPR is really going to help him. All of his blood is on the floor. Um, yeah, you're clearly not a medical doctor, are you? Uh, give up and save yourself. Right, yeah, today's topic for discussion is uh, nuclear power, for the simple reason that it's currently in the news in the UK, because a new nuclear power station has just been approved. At, uh, it's the Hinkley Point C facility. We already have nuclear reactors at Hinkley Point. They've decided to extend them with a new reactor. And the eventual idea is, when it's built, which it hasn't been yet, it will provide 7% of the UK's power. Oh, also, you will notice we've uh, put subtitles on this time, just in case I talk over anyone or the volume's too low and that kind of thing, decided it was a, a good idea to put the subtitles on. Like the fact they actually put the accents over the O in Schrodinger there, that's a nice touch. But anyway, yeah, the power station will be providing 7% of the UK's power when it comes online, which is uh, insane. You know, it gives you an idea of the power of these stations. Um, but obviously, whenever this kind of thing comes up, there's always a bit of controversy over it in the news. Um, personally, I'm very much in favour of nuclear power. I know it's not an ideal solution, however, it's a necessary solution, and lots of the concerns over it are greatly over-exaggerated, but we'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. I can see the other side of the argument, and, you know, it's not that I dismiss the other side of it, I just think that the pros outweigh the cons. Um, obviously one of the main concerns... Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, by the way, if you're sensitive, there will be a bit of blood and gore in these Let's Plays. There is some gibbing in Half-Life, as you're about to see now, so look away if you don't like blood. It's nothing too major, he just gets obliterated like that. Um, <laughs> again, if you're a gamer, probably nothing too amazing there. But yeah, um, one of the obvious major concerns that people highlight is the safety of the reactors, particularly after events like Fukushima, which are obviously disastrous events, but often over-reported in the media because, well, the media loves villainizing nuclear power. I mean, there was a phenomenal earthquake and tsunami that killed... I don't know the exact figures, but killed a lot of people, destroyed a vast amount of property, and generally caused a huge amount of damage, and most of the news stories in the UK afterwards were talking about the nuclear reactor rather than the absurd death toll, which is ridiculous, frankly. The event at the reactor paled in comparison to the earthquake and the effects of the tsunami, absolutely paled in comparison. But the media loves nuclear events because they are short, sharp incidents, and short, sharp incidents get a lot of page views or newspaper sales, if they're still running with newspapers, which lots of people obviously are. And, yeah, as I say, it's a bad event, don't get me wrong. I'm very aware nuclear accidents can go hideously wrong. Chernobyl is the perfect example of that. That was a, that was a particularly yeah, bad incident, but modern reactors are absurdly safe. There is so much redundancy in a modern nuclear reactor. I mean, the Japanese one went wrong. There was an article the other day about it being because of... I got your back. Well, part of it being because of ratitude through a certain circuit board, but I don't know anything about that, so I'll assume that's rubbish for now. Shoot the damn thing. Uh, I don't have a gun, I can't shoot the damn thing. But, um, yeah, the main reason it fell was... Oh, he is not going to make it. There we are. Um... The backup generators, the diesel generators, were flooded, effectively, because nobody foresaw the wave. But, um, for example, the knee-jerk reaction that Germany had, where Angela Merkel's decided to shut down their nuclear program, basically, is absurd, because Germany doesn't suffer from that kind of natural... Look, dis look behind you. Doesn't suffer from that kind of natural disaster, and the German reactors are almost universally more modern than the particular Japanese one that failed. And between... The safety features, like, I think most modern reactors drop boron balls into the reactor if an emergency button's hit, boron being a neutron moderator which helps to shut the reaction down, and there are redundancies upon redundancies for all the cooling systems and the pumps, um, 
Obviously, everything it can never be a hundred percent fail safe, but the safety level is huge. Yeah, they make as as absolutely certain as possible that nothing can go wrong, and it very rarely does. And when it does, it's reported constantly for weeks. And as a comparison for this, there was an article a couple of years ago on the BBC News that received no attention whatsoever about uh, the popu deaths in the population due to atmospheric pollution, long-term exposure to atmospheric pollution, to be specific about it. 5,000 people a year in the UK alone are killed by effects of long-term exposure to atmospheric pollution. That's about 0.85% of our death rate. A little under 1% of all of our deaths are caused by these effects. Which is, it, you see one article every four or five years on this and it gets no attention whatsoever. Whereas after Fukushima there were two or three weeks of constant top trending articles about the reactor and you know, it, it hasn't caused that many deaths, it's that simple. Even when you take into account the effects of the radioactivity that was leached, the effects aren't nearly as catastrophic as 5,000 deaths a year every year. And they don't report on that because you don't get as many hits from it because it's a long slow thing so people get used to it get bored of it and just don't read the articles and that's the sad, <clears throat> the sad thing about the media even the news you know, the BBC news is pretty good really it's a fairly independent source they have some very good articles they report on things quickly it's a great news site but even they have to follow demand you know if an article's not going to get read they won't run it because there's no money in it for them and they can't keep going. And that's you know, the major downside of the media. It's very unfortunate, but that's the way things are. And it's very bad because it's given nuclear power an extremely bad name. Because the media loves... Well, I'm in really low health. The media loves attacking it. Um, but yeah, there's, there are more costs than the deaths as well. And they, they estimate in the article which I'll link to in the description. I'll link to all of my sources for this stuff in the description. A bit of scientific rigor as far as it can be applied to a YouTube video. He's behind you. Um, yeah, bye guy. Uh, yeah, they say in that it's cost about six billion pounds a year to the UK economy dealing with the effects of the premature deaths due to atmospheric pollution. I mean, five thousand deaths and six billion pounds per year. That's ridiculous. Um, absolutely ridiculous and it's completely underreported because no one will read them. Uh, I'm not going to murder you, you're probably going to bleed out anyway I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, um, nuclear power, yes it has its downsides, everybody knows that, nobody is going to deny it. The waste and the potential issues with the radioactive material, the safety factor when something does go wrong. But the upsides are frankly ridiculous. For one thing, let's just disregard everything else and look at the energy density that you get out of nuclear fuel. Now, for one kilogram of uranium that's used in a reactor, you need about 3,000 tons of coal to provide the same energy output. One kilogram, 3,000 tons. That's six orders of magnitude more energy density, and that's incredibly advantageous. It's, it can't be overstated how important that is. It's an inc indescribably efficient source, and you get no emissions of carbon dioxide, and that, well, very few comparatively. And frankly, at this point, if you're denying the effects of atmospheric pollution, both on the death rate and on the environment in general, you need to read a few scientific articles. It's pretty much a consensus now, if you're denying it, um, yeah, don't. Just read some articles on it, go find some scientific papers. It's pretty convincing. It's extremely hard to deny that it's going on. Um, yet we need to minimise it. And for example, again, going back to the German thing, where they've effectively cancelled their nuclear programme. That, that, that means they have to go back to coal and oil and fossil fuels, and the effects on the pollution are going to be insane for the next decade in Germany until they work that out. I mean, it's, it's a knee-jerk reaction. It hasn't been considered, and that's very annoying. I'm just going to save. Um, hello, guys. Ooh, this doesn't look like it ends well. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. 
Not sure which of you came out worse from that one, actually. That, that's the guy's eyeball. I think he came out of that worse. Um, yes, yes, he did. He definitely came out of that worse. Um, it's actually surprisingly difficult playing a game while talking. I'm not doing quite as well health-wise as I would be expecting to at this point. Uh, maybe I'll have to drop the difficulty down at some point. We, we will see. Uh, where, where the hell did you go? Ah! No, don't die, die, die. Thank you. That's going to go and heal. Um, yeah, sorry, where was I? But yeah, the energy density thing is massive. The lack of pollution is even more massive. It, yes, we have the waste problem, but frankly, that is a problem we can bury, and burying it isn't an ideal solution. But it is a solution, and having a bit of buried nuclear waste is significantly better than running out of energy and plunging ourselves back into the Middle Ages. Or continuing on the trend we're going on and completely annihilating you know, the ecosystem on this planet, which which isn't brilliant for us, you know, we kind of need the ecosystem on this planet. We cannot get along without the rest of the wildlife here, no matter how much we'd like to pretend that we're invincible. Um, it's an extremely complex system, and if we futz with it too much, there are going to be effects we can't predict. Oh, hello. Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. That'd be very There's nice. A security office not far from here. Good. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Lovely. Come on. This way. Follow. Lead Follow. On, Freeman. Thank you. How do you know my name? I didn't tell you my name. Maybe I'm a famous scientist in this place. I don't know. Um, onwards. Oh, you don't look very friendly. I'm going to hit you. Why am I not hitting him? There we go. Uh, door, please. I'm going to turn this off. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to turn it off anyway. Just because I feel like I should. It takes a long time to turn these valve wheels. Come on. There we are. Mm, yeah, safe haven. Well, at any rate... Uh, right. Over there's the weapon I spoke of. Thank you. How did you know they were here, by the way? You're planning a coup, have you? Uh, nothing else? Okay, I fine. Um, for excitement today. I'd probably um, probably be doing you a favour killing stay, you, but you um, no, I'm going to leave you be. I'm not going to go for random gratuitous murder in this. I know it's a game, so technically I should do, but nah. We're going to be a good Gordon Freeman. We aren't going to randomly kill anybody. Not even if it's for their own benefit. Um, hmm. Bit of alien on alien action. Come on. Jump. Jump. Thank you. Right, let's go. Oh! How did you light that on fire? That zombie is magical. Right, well, at least we have a gun now. There we go. Um, oh crap, that's a border gaunt, isn't it? Um, sorry, I will begin speaking again in a moment. Oh. Hi. Hello. Oh. There we are. Right, okay. That's the sort of high intensity ish bit over with. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I think I've kind of exhausted what I have to say on the topic. I am clearly in favour of nuclear power. I am perfectly aware it's not ideal, and I see where everyone's coming on from the negative side, but it's a matter of balancing the pros and the cons. And with the difficulties we're about to get Gordon, into, is that you? The, is the pros significantly outweigh the cons. It really is that simple. It's something we should keep going on, oh. in spite of the potential oh dangers. I do um, believe I soiled myself. Well, that's very unfortunate for you. Particularly in there, that's going to smell lovely. Right, uh, I'll leave you to it. In fact, no, I won't. I'll hammer on you. There we are. Um, run along, Freeman. Okay. I have some sordid business to attend. Is that really your priority? I mean, the facility is full of aliens, and you're worried about the fact you've... Oh, I don't know. Scientists. We're a strange bunch. Oh, hello. Barnacles. You weren't here in the first game. I, I'm not entirely sure I approve of your presence here. Blind me, they take a lot of shots to kill. Um. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, didn't see you coming. Blind me. There we go. Uh, just use the old barrel trick on that guy. In fact, no, that's going to cause more problems than it's worth, isn't it? Because I've got to swim through here in a second. And I should probably take them all out before I do. Uh, right, there we are. 
as I said, I'm not in, not exclusively going to talk about uh, whatever topic I've picked each time. I'll talk about the game as well. I'll, I'll try to balance it, but um, uh, particularly at the beginning, I'm going to struggle finding enough stuff to say because it's a bit unintuitive for me talking about it. Um, I'll get used to it. You know, things will get better. Just bear with me. I'll attempt to do the most reasonable job I can. Up the ladder. Up, up the ladder, Freeman. There we go. Uh, right, I'm just trying to think. Right, we're about at the right time to stop. So, yeah, I'll just round this corner and we will end this video. And next time around, um, there'll be a new topic. I'm not sure what it is yet. I'll probably be recording that video tomorrow. So, I will see you next time. Farewell.